Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17.5 and Apple has recently released the third beta to this update. So the update is here. It is around 600 megabytes, of course, always depending on which your device you're installing it and of course which software you have currently installed on your device but if you're updating from beta 2 to beta 3 it should be somewhere between 500 to 600 megabytes now the new build number for this update is 21f 5063f now even though the build number indicates that there will be probably a few more betas i don't think that will be the case but we're going to talk about that in a minute here now first of all let's go ahead and move on to some of the new features and changes that apple has added to ios 17.5 with beta 3. Now, as you might know with beta 2 of ios 17.5 apple has added game center to news plus so it has integrated the games that you can find the puzzle games on the news app with the game center now if you go to the new settings you will see now a new switch here which allows to enable or disable game center for news plus right here so it says news plus puzzles and now you will be able to choose whether you want to add those scores that you get there to your game center or not now with iOS 17.5 beta 3, Apple has added more settings here under app information. Now if you have installed an app, now this is of course for EU users. Now when you go to app information, it will show the version, the dev, and then right here it shows the marketplace where you got it from. So basically the marketplace in this case is the app store and then the marketplace dev, which in this case is Apple. So you will get a lot more information regarding an app. Now, shout out for this screenshot to Zolo Tech. And here we have a few more settings that Apple previously added to 17.5. When you go under screen time and you go to content restriction, you go under app installation. Right here, we'll find also the option for web apps from where you can go ahead and enable or disable, basically allow or don't allow installing apps from the web on your device. Now with 17.5, Apple has added also eSIM universal links. So basically Apple has given devs a new universal link for eSIM installation. This will make it easier for you to swap the eSIM to a new device or set up a new eSIM from the devs or from the carrier's website. Now these are some of the new features that Apple has added on 17.5 beta 3. On previous betas we had some other features like the ability to change colors for the podcast widget based on the album art of the podcast you're listening to. Apple has also added quartiles to News Plus. So on News Plus you have puzzle games. Now we have a new one right there. And of course we also have an integration for Game Center on News Plus. Also for the news app, you will have more download options. So you will have recent stories, safe stories, magazines, puzzles, and all your stories. You will have individual switches for each of them where you can enable or disable them. And we have another option here to optimize storage, which will basically download smaller versions of images when you have saved a story on your device. That way it of course will save a ton of space on your iPhone. There's also a new counter on the books app for your reading goals just right there at the top where your profile picture is you will also see the counter for your daily goal and under settings if you go under privacy and security and scroll down here you will see a new icon for passkey access for web browsers now this used to be here before but it didn't have an icon at all now even though ios 17.5 will actually add quite a few new features to your iphone there are some missing features like the stopwatch live activity feature which was here with the first or second beta of 17.4 i believe and then apple removed it they didn't bring it back there is also no game mode yet on ios even though apple had talked about it last year at WWDC 2024 and also Apple Music Share Play which basically would allow it to have controls on HomePod and Apple TV isn't making it to iOS 17.5 most likely it's still missing even though it again was on the initial betas of iOS 17.4. 
iOS 17.5 will also fix a few different bugs, like the bug on the battery here with the first beta that had like some text here that didn't basically wasn't correct right here has been fixed. Also, Apple has fixed the problem with alarms not going off. That was actually quite a big bug on iOS and a lot of users have actually been experiencing that bug where they had set up a few alarms, but they didn't go off at all. And this right here was also a bug reported by a lot of users on 17.4 and even on the initial betas of iOS 17.5 marks up markups not working on PDF files on the files app. So you basically mark up something. Once you save it, it would be reset. And as you can see, it has now been fixed and it's working as it should. So basically, this would be just like a bug that a lot of users have been experiencing not saving markups that they have done specifically on PDF files, but it looks like it has finally been fixed. Talking about performance, iOS 17.5 has actually been quite good. In my experience using it since beta one on the iPhone 15 Pro Max here, it has actually been quite smooth. And we can see here the score from Geekbench 6, the single core score is at 2,955, which is quite good. Most likely with the final release, which we're gonna talk about in a minute here, it will be even better. And then we have a multi-core score, which again is quite good, is at 7,401. Again, a great score here on both single and multi-core score for iOS 17.5, even though we have to keep in mind that we're still on beta stages. Next up, we're talking about battery life. Now, I've been really satisfied with battery life on 17.5 since beta one. We can take a look here at the last 10 days and you can notice something here. You can see not any single day I have passed here 100% of battery usage, which is really great. And taking a look at the hours here, you can see with 70% battery, eight hours, 11 minutes. Then we have here about 80% battery, eight hours. Then we have here the exact five, 50% battery, we have eight hours, 38 minutes. Now, of course, the battery life will depend on what you're doing on your device, whether you're using Wi-Fi or cellular data, that depends a lot. But you can see here, we have some great times that we got with iOS 17.5, again, here at around 70% battery, seven hours, 55 minutes, right here, about 85% battery, eight hours, Again here, 80% battery, seven hours. Now you have to keep in mind that the battery is still at 100% capacity, so it should perform great. But again, you never know with these beta, sometimes you get better battery life, sometimes it's worse. But in my experience using 17.5 since day one, it has actually been quite decent. And now let's talk about the latest news from Apple. Apple has just announced their new event. It will be May 7th. Now this event, as you can see right here from this animation will be specific for iPads. Apple will most likely introduce a new generation of iPad Air and updated iPad Pros and also a new Apple Pencil. Now support for the new Apple Pencil has been discovered actually earlier this month. It has been discovered on the code of iOS 17.5. The event will be on May 7th. That's why we expect Apple to release 17.5 before they ship the new iPads. Now let's talk about the dates here and what we can expect in the near future. So even though, as you could see at the beginning of the video, the build number for this beta actually ended with an F, which indicates that there might be a lot more betas. Usually it would be a B or an A, but I wouldn't expect Apple to actually release more betas for this update. What I would expect Apple to do is release the RC version early next week, either Monday or Tuesday, we should see the RC version of iOS 17.5. Later that week, we might see a second version of the RC as usually Apple does, but then on the 7th, the day of the event, I would actually expect Apple to release iOS 17.5 to the public. As you know, when Apple releases new devices, before they ship them, they have to release the new software update to the public. So if they announce the devices here, I would expect to actually have them ready for shipping probably on Friday. So Apple will most likely release iOS 17.5 either right here at the event or maybe a week later if they decide 
to just put the pre-order here on Friday and then release the devices on the 17th that they might then they might push it on the 13th here but I really expect Apple to release iOS 17.5 on May 7th so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did subscribe for more iOS 17.5 videos and I'll see you on the next one